Hey, my water sign friends, and welcome to Indigo Goddess 1111. My name is Indigo, and I'm here bringing you your August 11th daily love reading. I'm going to take you on down here so we can get started. I want to thank you all for joining me. Um, if you've ordered a reading from me and you no longer want to wait, go ahead and please request a refund on PayPal. Um, with me moving this month and then all the eclipse energy on top of it, I haven't been feeling well. It's just been quite a month. So um, I am dealing with eclipse energy just like everybody else. So uh, if you don't mind waiting, I will get to your reading as soon as possible. Um, now that I'm set up here in my new place, I will be um, working twice as hard to get those caught up. So if you don't want to wait any longer, request a refund. If you don't mind waiting, you will be soon receiving your reading. Um, for those of you that are uh, going to wait, I will be offering or um, adding a bonus to your reading for the wait time. So I just want to tell you all that I appreciate each and every one of you. And thank you for being so understanding. So water signs. That is Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. Spirit guides and angels, please bring me any messages for our water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, in that order, please. Oops. For August 11th. All right. Cancer. The world. Nice. Pisces. The Six of Pentacles in the reverse. And Scorpio, the Nine of Swords in reverse. Your guys' overall um, energy is the Page of Cups in reverse, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So things are coming for you, um, big things actually. Uh, they're just, there's a little bit of a delay right now. Um, get some clarifiers here. Um, cancer meal. Oh, okay. Cancer female. Crisis meal. Crisis. Thank you. And Scorpio meal. Nice. And Scorpio female. So, um, cancers, you guys are coming to the end of a cycle. You are allowing things to transition into your life beautifully. You're no longer waiting for love because you know that love will find you when it is time. Um, you're letting things of the past go with this energy of this eclipse. It's beautiful. Um, you have the eight of swords in reverse. So you are coming out of the space of feeling bound and tied to this person, to this relationship that failed in the past, to the situation that you are currently in. You are going to get out of that uh, space and move forward and close out this cycle and this uh, chapter and, and wait. you're no longer waiting for love. You're going to start living your life and love is going to find you. Uh, cancer females, you have the king of swords. So you're dealing with an air sign male. Uh, that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So uh, you are completing things with this person. You are releasing them. You are not... Uh, You've had bad luck with this with this relationship. Um, this person is very logical, very cold, very aloof, and and you want something more. You want something more emotional, something more uh, physical. So you are um, letting an air sign male go today. Pisces, you guys are uh, yeah, you guys are feeling a little bit of lack. You guys feel like you've been ignored. Uh, you feel like somebody's holding out on you. You feel like your luck couldn't get any worse. Um, cancer or Pisces males, I'm sorry, um, the seven of swords. So there's a lot of deceit. There's a lot of behind the back energy. And that's why the things aren't balanced out for you. You could be the one actually that is sneaking around and you're not really offering your love to anybody, but you're making people think you are. Um, or somebody is doing that to you for Pisces males. You both Pisces male and female, you're ready to let go. Um, you've had enough of the bullshit. Uh, females, you have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. You've put a lot of time into this. 
Um, you've put a lot of energy into this. Uh, <clears throat> you're trying to be patient, but you're starting to wonder if the wheel is ever going to turn and if this person is ever going to come forward offering you anything but um, sexual energy uh, because you want something more. So uh, you're reminded today, Pisces, to be patient. Um, I know it's easier said than done, but keep working on yourself. It is coming to fruition. It's just got to wait until this wheel of fortune uh, turns in this next moon cycle. Scorpios, you guys have the nine of swords in the reverse, getting out of your headspace. Uh, Scorpio males, beautiful energy, could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but this is more about self-healing, not allowing these thoughts in your head to get to you, not allowing yourself to live in this headspace instead of your heart space. You're finding self-healing, self-love, self-respect, self-confidence, and you are beautifully healing on a soul level. Uh, Scorpio females, you have the five of cups, however. Uh, you are mourning the loss of a relationship with a water sign. Um, you are sad that to see it end, but you refuse to let it affect you in a negative way. You refuse to allow this uh, ending and this relationship to control your life. Um, and you're healing on a beautiful level as well. You're just not quite there to the temperance level. Scorpio males, you're, you're doing a fantastic job um, getting, getting the healing that you need. I get an angel card for cancer. Hi, there you go. Pisces. And Scorpios. So, uh, Cancer, you guys are calling in your soulmates. Um, like I said, by you guys moving on, both you, male and female, with the world card, you're closing chapters to the past. You're moving forward. And by you closing out that chapter, you are now calling in your soulmate. Your soulmate is going to be the next person that comes into your life. Um, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help. Make sure you release during this energy of the moon um, so you can call in your soulmate. Because for a large group of you, Cancer, the next person that you call into your life is your life partner. Pisces, you guys have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Um, I do feel, however, for the for the Pisces males, that's not the case. Um, they are wanting you to uh, go to the next level, and you're not ready for that. Pisces females, by you being patient and working on yourself, your relationships uh, are will go into an engagement, whether that be uh, it's just the next level of your relationship. If you don't live together, you know, you'll be living together. If you live together, you'll be engaged. If you're engaged, you'll be married. That Taking that next step. Scorpio, playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. Um, you guys are just having a good time right now uh, for your Scorpios. You guys, uh, you're healing. You're not taking life too seriously. Uh, you realize that there's more to life than, than being caught up in your head. Females, uh, Scorpio females, you guys are mourning the loss of this relationship, but that isn't stopping you from going out and having fun. So keep enjoying yourself. Um, remember, every ending is the beginning to a beautiful new chapter. So um, I hope you guys have an amazing Saturday. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for joining me today on my channel. If you haven't yet subscribed, please hit the button below. And as always, I send you love, light, and God bless.